So I know uh, a lot of people, and, and looks like we've got an experienced crowd here. They do by show of hands. Who knows how to retro hail? Where they actually run it through your sinuses and okay. How often do you do that? Um, you know, when you're smoking your cigar from start to finish. How many times would you retro hail in the course of that cigar? Once, twice, a dozen, fifty. It could be a lot depending on my mood. Okay. Same here. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't count. I wouldn't be able to count. Let's put it that way. Okay. All right. Also depends well, I... on the, the tobacco because sometimes there's a very, very pleasant uh, feel in the, in the nasal passages. And sometimes it's not such a big deal, in which case I probably wouldn't bother. But I think I think it probably does some masking to to blast my nasal passages like that. Yeah, well, if you it, think of your nasal passages, yeah. If you think of, of what goes on in your nasal passage, you've got the those little hairs that are in there, and they're not used to the, Really, it's the heat and the effect of the smoke that that goes on through those nasal passages, and they're going to react. They're gonna, they're gonna go, ooh, wait a minute, what's this, what's going on? And they're gonna start to recede where, where they actually won't have the same effect as you did with that very first uh, uh, retro hail. So while we're smoking and, and doing evaluations, we try not to do more than three retro hails through the whole cigar. We don't wanna have those capillaries or the, 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 the hairs that are in your nose where the sinuses actually can have that big effect. We don't want to overdo it because we want to have that flavor be the biggest it can be during the whole cigar. So if you're going back and actually evaluating your cigars or you want to just say, I want to pick up some good flavors, don't retrohale a lot because your body reacts and you'll actually find you can taste less than you would if you only do it once in a while. Travis, you... Um... I'm sure that you know uh, that exercise that involves the keeping the smoke in your mouth and then applying a pressure so that from within the mouth, the smoke goes, reaches the nasal receptors without actually exhaling through the nose. Are you willing to share it here? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, I can do that. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. So once we get into the cigar just a little bit, now this is, I kind of got to rush this just a little bit, but what we do is, is I'll go through this real quick, then I'll show you, and then I'll go through it one more time. When you bring the, cigar, the smoke into your mouth, you're going to hold it in your mouth and blow out your cheeks as hard as you can for about 10 to 15 seconds. Then you're going to let that smoke slowly roll out of your mouth with piercing your lips. Once you, the smoke is all gone, you lift the tongue into the roof of your mouth, rub, uh, rub it in the roof of your mouth for about three to five seconds. Then you're going to go ahead and take a, a slow, deep breath in, letting that, that air slowly roll over your tongue. Then you're going to rub the tongue on the roof of your mouth one more time. What we're looking to do is when you blow your cheeks out, you're going to help embed that smoke a little deeper into your palate. Then when you let it slowly roll out and let that, once it's rolling out, I'm sorry, you need to lift your tongue up inside your mouth to a point. You know, just, just, just lift it up because you're wanting that smoke to roll over the back side of your tongue. Once the smoke's all gone, you're rubbing the roof of your mouth, you're embedding some of those flavors that are in there. Then when you bring the oxygen over it, kind of like with wines, you bring oxygen, you, you take a little drink, you bring oxygen into it, you want to aerate that that opens flavors up. Oxygen opens flavor receptors. So bringing that oxygen over it, embedding it one more time, you'll find you'll get more depth out of your cigar. Um, well, we're doing, when we're doing this, we do this exercise just because we want to get the depth and the true flavor profile that goes on. Let me show you exactly what, what I mean.
Ooh. I knew I was going to get cocoa out of this one, but this one's good. Mm-hmm. You notice I went into the front of, front of my teeth too, right above your, your, your teeth and your gum line. Uh, there's a lot of times there, there's flavors I can get trapped up there that people forget about. They don't even know. So once you go up there, you go, Ooh, I got, I got a little bit more out of that one. But if uh, it's a good exercise to pull more flavor out of your cigars, really blowing your, you bring the smoke in, blow your cheeks out when you're ready to let it go about 10, 15 seconds, lift your tongue up inside your mouth, then slowly let that smoke roll out. Tongue to the roof of the mouth, oxygen in tongue to the roof of the mouth, and then just taste and enjoy. Who's smoking a cigar? You want to try it? Mm. 